The House with Nobody in It by Joyce Kilmer. Whenever I walk to Suffern along the eerie track, I go by a poor old farmhouse with its shingles broken and black. I suppose I've passed it a hundred times, but I always stop for a minute and look at the house, the tragic house, the house with nobody in it. I never have seen a haunted house, though I hear there are such things, that they hold the talk of spirits, their mirth, and their sorrowings. I know this house isn't haunted, though I wish it were, I do, for it wouldn't be so lonely if it had a ghost or two. Now the house on the road to Suffern needs a dozen panes of glass, and somebody ought to weed the walk and take a side to the grass. It needs new paint and shingles, and its vines should be trimmed and tied. But what it needs most of all are some people living inside. Now if I had a lot of money and all my debts were paid, I'd put a gang of men to work with brush, saw, and spade. I'd buy this house and, and fix it up the way it used to be. And I'd find some people who wanted a home and I'd give it to them for free. Now a new house standing empty, staring window and door, looks idle perhaps and foolish, like a hat on its block in the store. There's nothing mournful about it. It cannot be sad and lone for the lack of something within it that it has never known, but a house that has done what a house should do, a house that has sheltered life, a house that has put its loving arms around a man and his wife, a house that has echoed a baby's lap and held up its dumbling feet, is the saddest sight when it's left alone that ever your eyes should meet. So whenever I walk to Suffern, along the eerie track, I never go by the poor old house without stopping and looking back. Yet it hurts me to look at the crumbling roof and the shutters falling apart. For I can't help thinking the poor old house is a house with a broken heart.